Good morning, and thank you for coming. I am Judy Bonner, and I have the privilege of serving as president at the University of Alabama. I would like to begin by recognizing some special groups of people who are with us today. Supporting all of us in our mission is a dedicated group of men and women who make up our Board of Trustees. They give generously and unselfishly in all that they do. And on behalf of everyone who benefits from their vision and leadership on a daily basis, I would like to ask the members of our board who could be with us today to stand and be recognized. Thank you. one and all for everything that you do to support this great university every day. Every good university is made great by its people. For the last 14 years, our Department of Athletics has been led by Coach Mal Moore. As a consequence of his leadership, we have an athletics program that is second to none in every way. We are enormously proud of our Department of Athletics. I would like to ask for our coaches to stand so that we can recognize them. Will our coaches please stand? Some of our coaches could not be with us because of their competition. As the accolades and heartfelt tributes to Coach Moore pour in from all over the country, I know that Mal and his family continue to be uplifted by the prayers, the encouragement, and the outright love from the University of Alabama family for this giant of a man. Naturally, I am looking forward to having Mal join me in the President's office when his health permits his return. Before this latest setback occurred, however, there had been several conversations with Mal, university leaders, and board leaders in anticipation that one day, this day, would eventually come. It was my responsibility on Thursday morning to rec recommend a new athletics director to Chancellor Whit and the Board of Trustees. As you can appreciate, this is a responsibility that I did not take lightly. This task was made easier, however, because our dear friend and colleague, Mal Moore, has given us a good blueprint of the skills and qualifications his successor would need in order to be successful as an athletics director at the University of Alabama. I am so pleased to introduce to you today someone that Mal has full confidence in and someone that I believe is uniquely qualified to build on the foundation of excellence that is a hallmark for this Department of Athletics. This person is Coach Bill Battle. Coach Battle has a strong record as the founder and CEO of a highly successful corporation. These skills, together with his background as a student athlete and a winning coach, and his intimate understanding of the Crimson Tide tradition and all that it represents affords him the expertise he needs to be successful and to lead every facet of our Department of Athletics. During the call to the board this morning, Chancellor Whit and the Executive Committee of the board approved my recommendation, so now please join me in welcoming back home to the capstone, Athletics Director Bill Battle. Thank you so much, Dr. Bonner. It's an extreme privilege and honor for me to be standing here today 
But as honored as I am to stand before you, I would much rather, I promise you, be out in radio, newspaper, or TV land, watching this press conference and Mal Moore standing here telling us what his plans are for this next year and and or announcing some great uh, amazing accomplishment that he's done. What he and the university have done are remarkable. And I am proud to be here. But we had a chance to go see Mal Wednesday. And I can tell you he's in good spirits. He looks like he's gone through the worst two-a-day practice that he'd ever gone through. But he was, uh, he talked to us uh, in, in different uh, we had different uh, groups that went in and talked to him, and he was quick to start talking to me, and he thanked me. Then he started telling me things I needed to do, and then he started telling Paul things he needed to do. <laughs> <clears throat> and so then the next group came in, and he did all that, and then before long he told everybody it would be nice if it would be okay with him if everybody went back to Tuscaloosa, but he wanted to see Mary. And so Mary went in, and when he came out, we said, what did he say? And he said, well, he told me some nice things. And then he said, you need to leave because i got to go to work. So <laughs> he's got a hard, long road of work ahead of him. But he's got a lot of prayers and support behind him from all over the country. And he's got a spirit, and he's a tough guy, and he's got a spirit that will prevail. When I got the call about this job, I had been, I'd, I'd left my farm. I'd been out with a chainsaw ch cutting up trees that had fall down, fallen down the recent tornado and and the call came and they told me about Mal's sudden decline and uh, and they told me that they were interested in me taking this job and I said to myself my first reaction was wow this is a great honor but man do I really want to do this and for the last two weeks, that's what I've been wrestling with, and it's been a roller coaster ride, and it's been going up and down, but it's been a great process. So I came over, was invited to come and, and visit the university, and I was familiar with what all had been going on and all the great progress that's going on, both obviously in athletics, but certainly in academics and buildings and expansion and infrastructure, and what an incredible time to be at the University of Alabama. And I had a chance to meet with uh, Dr. Bonner and Dr. Witt and Coach Saban and various trustees and and I was impressed with so much that was going on but I still had that question, is this what I really want to do? And my wife Mary, who's my partner in this deal, uh, certainly wasn't expecting that in our lives. We actually had been living a pretty good lifestyle. We were uh, we had sold our company a, a few years ago, and I'd been a consultant ever since, and, and I had enjoyed that role. And when we're in Atlanta, which is most of the time, I go into the office. And I don't do much because they don't ask me to do much, but, they, uh, but I get energy from being around bright, young, enthusiastic people with great character, great work ethic, and a great team spirit. And we had built a culture in our company that Coach Saban you would be proud of. And uh, they're, a, they're a great group and that's why I spent so much time in there. Now, uh, but we had talked about, we've been in a comfort zone and we, Mary and I both ought to, we, we've been doing uh, civic stuff and charity work and been on some boards and, and I was consulting with the company and some other things. And, but we talked about, you know, we need to get out of our comfort zone. Uh, this question that I was asking myself took me way out of that comfort zone, I can promise you. So on Friday, I had planned weeks before to come to the president's cabinet meeting, which I had been a member of for years. And, and <clears throat> I heard Barrett Jones get up and speak, and what a great uh, representative of the university and he is. I'd, I'd heard him speak in New York at the National Football Foundation meeting. And uh, when he accepted the award as the top scholar athlete in the country, and what, a, what an impressive uh, set of credentials Barrett Jones has, and he wowed us with his conversation. And then three Merritt scholars got up and spoke, and 
uh, I think they probably spoke a lot eloqu more eloquently than Mal or I or most people on our team back in the 60s did, but they were really impressive, and I was impressed with that. When Dr. Bonner started to make her presentation of what all was going on on campus, it was amazing. It was amazing to me, and I knew a lot of it, but I, I knew a lot more. But the thing that impressed me the most of everything that she said at the end, and I'm paraphrasing because she didn't really use these words, but she said, in effect, as good as things are around here, we got to work harder every day to keep this thing going. And I thought to myself, you know, uh, if I didn't do this, I'd regret it for the rest of my life because it's an opportunity to pay back the university if I can. What a, a great debt that I owe the university. And if I don't do it, uh, uh, it'd be a big mistake. Now, so what I'm saying is that I'm here as a labor of love to try to, to help in any way that I can. I hope that, I know I have time, I'm rested, I'm not tired, and I have, uh, uh, and I look forward to, uh, to this challenge. Now, having said all that about its uh, labor of love, I also recognize very strongly that this is an extraordinary responsibility and challenge. And coming into this place at this time, when it's on an all-time high, uh, is a very difficult thing to do, to, to keep what Mal and his staff and coaches have built, and what Dr. Bonner and Dr. Witt and the leadership have built. But it reminds me of the story that we've all heard, but I'm gonna tell it again. It's the, uh, the chicken and a pig were walking down the road one day, early in the morning, and they, it was a nice morning in Alabama, and they passed this restaurant, and there was a flashing light over in the restaurant that said, Ham and eggs, two dollars and a quarter. And the chicken said to the pig, my, my, how lightly they take our services. And the pig looked back at the chicken and he said, to you it's a service, to me it's total commitment. <laughs> <clears throat> and I can assure you that in every organization there are great people that have, that perform great services and that's what everybody has. In the extraordinary companies, there are a few people that give total commitment. And at this university, we got more than our share in that capacity. And what I hope to bring to that, and Barry joins me in that, is I hope to bring that kind of total commitment mentality to this job, and I'll do the best I can. <clears throat> I really look forward, I, I know Mal has assembled a great staff, because I've been around some of them. But they, I, I really look forward to working with each and every one of them. I've got a steep learning curve to learn about all the things that athletic directors do uh, to, to help us. I've, and, and I'm a simple guy, I don't, I, I don't deal with complex stuff very well, but in my mind, the job that, that we have before us is three things. We got to prepare our student athletes to compete at the highest levels in international in intercollegiate athletics. We got to pre prepare our student athletes to compete at the highest levels in life after graduation. And graduation is a big part of what our obligation and responsibility is. And the third thing is to do both with enough honor and integrity to bring pride and honor to the university. And that's what we're going to try to do. I'm so proud to be here and thankful for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Coach Battle. At this time, Coach Nick Saban will speak on behalf of the coaches in the Department of Athletics. Thank you, Dr. Bonner. On behalf of all of our coaches here at the University of Alabama, we're very pleased and excited to have Bill and his family uh, join our team. Um, I'd like to welcome to Tuscaloosa, uh, but also welcome you back home uh, to the University of Alabama and the Crimson Tide. 
you know, in this process, there's a lot of really good people that we have here uh, that make these kinds of decisions. And uh, Dr. Bonner, Dr. Witt, our board of trustees, and uh, Mal Moore have certainly made an outstanding uh, choice in terms of uh, the athletic director that they've, they've elected here uh, to succeed Mal Moore uh, in Bill Battle. Uh, he's been a very successful player here. Uh, he was a very successful coach. Uh, he's been a very successful leader in the business world and certainly a first-class individual um, who is well-respected by just about everybody that you ever can meet that know him. And I was able to spend a significant amount of time you know, with Bill, you know, in this process and in my experience here at the University of Alabama over the last six years. And uh, even though we lost a, a valuable statesman uh, for the university in Mount Moore, uh, he will continue to be with us uh, as a part of the university, uh, which we look forward to continuing to work with Mal. Uh, but we've also uh, added a, a, a gentleman that is going to be, you know, a first class person and a leader uh, in our community as well as at our university and in our athletic department. And as all the coaches, we are all very much committed to making this as smooth a transition as we possibly can in terms of uh, Coach Battle becoming very successful to continue the outstanding tradition of excellence that we have here at the University of Alabama. Um, I'd like for you to come to practice today. It's against NCAA rules for you to coach. I can't figure out today's stuff, but don't suit me up. <laughs> you know, Mal always loved coming to practice, and um, as Paul does, and we love having him there. Uh, and I always like to get a little bit of that old-time sort of what it was like back then and how we could implement some of those principles and values and helping our team be successful. So you got that to look forward to as well. But we're, we're very pleased and excited about having Bill and his family here with us. And uh, as a group of coaches, uh, we're all going to do everything that we can to, to make this transition a very successful one uh, and continue the standard of excellence that we have here at the University of Alabama uh, in athletics and helping our student athletes develop personally, academically, and athletically. And uh, I think the commitment that our team has here to do that uh, is something that's very special to be a part of. So we look forward to working with Bill and uh, the entire team here to continue to be successful. Thank you so much. Roll Tide.